Hello? Can you hear me? I am searching, whether it's the cities, the quiet suburbs, or in the beauty of nature. I will find it. In the crevices. In the darkness. Welcome to... Lost or Found. The chances of dying from a shark attack are just one in 900 million That shit always gets me. Yes, I am back. Me and Papo made it safe. Even though we landed here, I thought we were going to go to Scranton. But hey, you know where we are? We are in the land of Australia, the down under. Hmm. Did I say that right? I don't know. I don't have to ask him. Behind me is the Sydney Opera House, place I would love to go to as we are here in Australia, no, I will not say down under again with that weak accent, but hey, we're here to have fun and we're here to talk about the 2017 found footage film Open Water 3 Cage Dive, directed by Gerald Racionato. This is the third installment of this franchise series, and I'll let you know what I think later about where this lands among the three. But in the beginning portions of the clips, I only showed you one shark scene. Why I did that? Because I honestly want you to watch this movie for that reason to see what these sharks actually look like. Now, why do I want you to see what they look like? Well, if you've seen the latest shark movies recently, they are so dependent on CGI. Not many of them can pull it off even though I have one in mind I really, really like. However, at times they look bad, as in the wreck one. No, no, no. I will not show a clip of the sharks in that movie because that movie should never even be mentioned among the shark movies ever made. It sucked. But why is this movie on here? Well, the very rare occasion that we actually get a found footage film that the environment takes place in the ocean. So what is the synopsis of this film? Well, a group of friends decide to go to Australia to film an audition tape for Extreme Reality Series. However, their filming of this series ends up being a diary of survival in shark-infested waters. Now, I know I am not the only one to question why get into a shark cage, right? They got here. Yeah. Portable shot or a monkey cage? Anti-shark cage. Anti-shark cage. You go inside the cage. Cage goes in the water. You go in the water. Shark's in the water. Now, this movie tends to be an investigation slash documentary style found for this film. As you know me by now, I love when they're documentary style. After the beginning sequence, we get to look at the film in a different light. Now, I'll be honest with you, after the opening sequence where we see the investigation slash documentary style of the film, you may want to fast forward a little bit. This movie tends to do some character building that we don't need it. Let's be honest. Fast forward till you get to the part where they're actually on the boat. Once they get on the boat, we get to see what it's like to be in a shark cage, which I will never, ever ever again a shark cage now mind you i love sharks i respect sharks i think they're beautiful animals but there's no way i'm getting in a shark cage after watching films like this one in 47 meters down now there are certain points in this film where we hit that dreaded low in the film but this film does something unique where it goes back between the investigation going underway of what happened to these people as well as 
seeing what the trio is going through. And this is what keeps the film moving in a nice flow from time to time. Now, just like any other horror film, the decisions being made in this film will drive you absolutely crazy. Decisions, decisions, decisions. So what about the characters in this film? Well, the characters in this film are decent for what they represent in this film. However, there's one character in particular that you will grow to dislike and you kind of wonder what fate they will meet and in what kind of way. So what do I think of Open Water 3, Cage Dive? Well, I'll be honest, I think it is the better of the three films in the Open Water franchise. Now, the fact that they took a chance and created a found footage film to be part of this franchise kind of elevated this movie slightly. We honestly didn't expect to have a found footage film to take place in these kind of situations, which I think in a way was kind of a breath of fresh air because this movie came out a little bit after 47 meters down. Now, the shark sequences in this film, I actually enjoyed. I wish we had more of them, but I kind of enjoyed what we were given. Now, before I give you my rating of this film, you can watch this right now on Freebie. So as far as my rating of this film, because it's a found footage film in Shark and Festive Waters, I kind of say that this deserves to be found by the skin of its teeth. I always said when it comes to found footage film, the environment, the environment has to play a factor in the movie. And this one played a great factor because for me personally, one, I would never get into a shark cage. Two, I mean, the fear of actually being in the open water in the ocean like that with the possibility of never, one, never to be found, two, to drown. I mean, it's just all the, all my biggest fears take place in certain aspects of this film. Take an opportunity, jump on freebie. You don't have to subscribe. Watch this film. Definitely let me know what you think of the sharks when they appear. And if they could have been better or what else could have this movie done to kind of lift itself a little higher as potentially a good shark movie. So next week we will review. Sorry, I don't want to say nothing yet. I like kind of keeping surprises, but I am going to jump on the boat. I told you before, I'm not going to get in no shark cage, but Bapo decided, hey, he wants to do it. so. Let's film Bapo's experience in a shark cage. This is JR. Lost or found? Like, subscribe, share, and give us all the love and comments because I want to know what you have to say about this film and any of the episodes we shot for Lost or Found. And definitely jump on Three Corners of Horror and movies that me up. Let us know what you think about those shows and what you think about what we're doing now Papo's getting antsy isn't that water beautiful so I'm out let's go Papo dun, 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 dun. all right guys Papo's in the key Papo's in the key Put the... no 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 My man, why are you screaming like that? Yeah, that wasn't me, man. That was, that was hurt. Papa saved him. Papa saved him. He saved.